What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the Manchester United Road to Glory Episode 2. We will be focusing on squad building challenges in this episode, there will be gameplay towards the end of it, but I thought, you know what, I've played a few more games with my brother, you'll have seen my record, I think 9-4-3, and I've literally used all the players, like the bronze players, the lone players, all of that, I've uh, wasted as much as I can. And uh, I think I managed to build about 6,000 coins just from playing friendly matches. I can show you the records or whatever. Like, I haven't cheated or anything, haven't transferred coins. I've been playing my brother, using all the other players. And as you can see, the first challenge there, I bought five separate bronze players for 150 coins. Now, you can see a few of the contracts expired there, the players that I used. Um, and I'm just getting rid of them in these challenges. Like, I've used them and now I'm getting rid of them. A lot of them are untradeable anyway. And uh, yeah, these these basic ones are pretty simple. I'm just showing you the end of the score building challenge. There's no point in me showing you the full thing. I think I did the the two nation um, ones, like the basic ones, and then the kickoff challenges. And uh, yeah, I'm just showing you this, and then I'll show you a segment of packs, and then I do the gold one, and I'll show you the packs after that. But yeah, as I say, I, I played some friendly seasons, built up my coin total after buying those Manchester United players. I think I only played like one game with them. Uh, the the bronzes and silvers because I want to save them for later on and uh, yeah literally got all these packs so let's open them all right so I'm gonna open the first lot of packs that I did get from those squad building challenges now there are two more packs that I will be opening after this but I need to get some coins from these so it would be useful to get some good players and he looks like he might actually sell let's have a look oh my god really are these untradeable all of them better not be untradeable. That that's gonna be a bit annoying if they are. Um, I'm pretty sure some of them aren't. Uh, hopefully this one isn't. But yeah, that would have been a good player to sell, I would imagine. Uh, who's this? This is Traviero. Please say this one is uh, tradable at least. Yes. Hurrah. Right. All right. I know this guy will go for a lot. Like he's a he's a good youngster for Borussia Dortmund. There you go. We, we've basically, just from this one player, almost got everything that we got, like, that we spent, uh, pretty much. Right, I'm going to list him for 1,400, and then um, I'll store everything in the club and go through it in my own time, and I've accidentally done that. Right, um, he looks decent as well. Yeah, that that isn't bad. Like, these are so worth it, like, especially for uh, Road to Glory. Like, when we get the gold packs, which I'll get in the... Um, the next bit that I'm doing that's the last bit for the gold uh, I think you get a 15k pack and maybe a 20k pack or something like this guy oh, untradeable sick okay that one's a little annoying but uh, if there's any future squad building challenges these will be useful now I know I am risking a lot because it is a road of glory but again I just think the risk is far outweighed by the reward or the potential reward that you get I'm hoping some of these are, you see, these are untradeable. Um, I think it might be the kickoff ones that are tradable. And it looks as though Pulisic is just sold. So, uh, yeah, that's those coins in. Right, Kim Hyung Yon, was it? Yeah, some, I think. Oh, we've packed a Pogba. It's not the one you would want, obviously. But he might go for a bit purely because his name is Pogba, maybe. Nah, he doesn't really. But um, yeah, I'll sift through all this uh, later. That MLS guy will sell for quite a bit because of obviously the other MLS challenges. Right, this um, loan pack, who are we going to get? Uh, it's not really anyone we're going to be using. That's a bit unfortunate. I was hoping for a Premier League player, then uh, we'd have been able to use him because it's a Man United road to glory. But anyhow, I'll be back with the rest of the packs. Before I'm back with the rest of the packs, of course, I actually have to finish the squad building challenge, the kickoff one. And uh, I had to open all the other packs that I got to get some coins so I could sell the players, so I could buy these gold players. And I think in total, I've spent around four to five K. You had to have two rare players. And because it was the early access, I've, I've bought now instead of bid. So I probably could have got it for a bit cheaper, but four to five K. I mean, with the two packs that you get, I'll be very surprised if we don't beat that. So in my opinion, it's definitely worth doing these challenges and we'll see if that's vindicated right now. All right, so I've finished off those challenges and here are the packs. So I think in total I've spent around 5k, so I do want to get more than that back. And I think we have in this one pack as Piliquator. There you go. That is exactly why these things are worth it. 
Let's see how much it goes for before I get too hyped, but surely it's more than 5k. Yeah, there you go. I've literally spent 5k to do this, and in the very first gold pack that we have, that's 20k right there, or 25k, however much I'll actually be able to sell him for. <laughs> it's just so worth it, and then obviously you've got all these other players that might come in useful eventually, but I'll send him to the transfer list, and I'll store everything else in my club for future squad building challenges. And I'll open the next pack, but there you go. That'll set us well on our way to be uh, to building the Manchester United team. And the next pack gives us... Doesn't look as though it's going to be as good, but Mario Gomez might sell for a bit. Is there anyone else in this pack? Yep, Amrabat and Abate. Surely they're going to sell for something. But of course, I've been disconnected from the EA servers. So uh, yeah, you can still kind of see the packs there. But I'll sell everything I've got, see what coin total we're at. Get some more United players, then play a couple of games and end this episode. Right, well, everything that I've wanted to sell has sold. You can see how much for it. Now, as Equator didn't get anywhere near as much as I did think I would, but we still made a hell of a lot of profit. 6,000 for, uh, for him. And then some of the other ones, obviously, some of these were from last episode. And, um, yeah, we've almost got 16,000. So what I'm going to do now is buy... Probably, well, a few more players, so I've got a full Manchester United team, and then um, I'll start the trading next episode, because I know that'll probably annoy people that I haven't actually started that yet. But, um, yeah, the, currently, this is uh, the team we've got. It's not great, obviously. We've got gigs, though, on loan, so I don't really need um, a left wing at the minute for two games anyway. So, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a of a saving grace there but we do need to buy five players so i'm gonna do that and i'll be back actually no four players for now and uh yeah i'll be back with those and then i'll play some games and next episode we'll begin the trading this is the team i've ended up with i have actually managed to afford fosu mensa he's the most expensive player by far so far about six thousand the next cheapest on the market was 6,800, so I've got a little bit of a bargain. And since the game is officially released in a couple of days, it will be by the time you're watching this video. Uh, it's a decent price and he might rise. I've also bought Carrick. I put Young as a striker. Of course, he's only getting like two chem, but I don't think that really matters at the start. Um, we've obviously got Giggs there. And the other player I bought is Lingard who was about 900, Ashley Young 950, and Michael Carrick 750. I'll play two games in this episode, uh, so that'll use the loan gigs, and then um, I'll buy a few more players and we'll rotate. Uh, well, I'll buy the players next episode, I think. Uh, but as you can see, I've got 7,300 coins. My record is 943. I might as well show you the friendly seasons that I have been playing against my brother's second account. Uh, is there a way you can, like, um, we've played three seasons, like, is there a way you can see, there you go, there you go, title holder, I've won it three times, um, and as you can see, record 8 or one one of them was a disconnect, which is why I've got an extra loss, but, um, yeah, I haven't been lying, I have literally played friendly seasons, so, uh, yeah, that's the squad, it's a full Manchester United team, uh, and we've got all of the lower players, the checklist is on screen now, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how this is progressing. It's going a bit quicker than I thought. And uh, we'll have a few more players for next episode. But anyway, let's get into the game highlights. I'm only going to play two games and we are going to go into Division 10. Obviously, I've already played two Division 10 games. Won one, lost one. But look at this ridiculous team. In Division 10, he's already got Ronaldo. That isn't loan Ronaldo. That is Ronaldo. He's bought Ronaldo for 2 million or however much he goes for. It's absolutely ridiculous. He's got other players like Lacazette. I think I saw Bonucci or someone like that in defence. Marcelo. And yeah, I just couldn't handle him. But in fairness, I didn't really get battered. Considering this is a team mainly consisted of golds, uh, sorry, of silvers and bronzes, I actually held my own. And I did end up losing, but it was only 2-1. So you know what? I'll take that with someone with Ronaldo and Lacazette in the early access which is when i'm recording this second team is a bit uh better it's a it's a start team nothing too exceptional there so i did feel like my chances were a lot better in this game and uh, sure enough i kick off the scoring with michael carrick there good finish but he does get an equalizer later on I'd, that's just 
that's just unluckiness really I mean good strength from Rondon but I just didn't clear and uh, maybe that was coming uh, but anyhow Michael Carrick into Ashley Young here there's some good play Sean Goss who is a uh, 58 rated what a goal for a centre mid who is 58 rated then Fossa Mensah was given so much space turns and shoots and a debut goal for the lad and then Ryan Giggs on his last game for the club manages to get a goal it was disappointing from Giggs not Giggs's card just because he was injured and uh, I don't know the Ronaldo game ruined one of his uh, games so he only really scored one for me which is a bit annoying but yeah I decided to end this episode off by buying all three Manchester United kits as well as the badge you're seeing how much I'm picking them up for um, and then the stadium but uh, as I say next episode some trading will be there I'll play three or four games I've only played two today because obviously gigs is loan uh, only had two games left and uh, we'll buy a few more players obviously I don't have too many coins so I'm gonna try and win division 10 in the next episode but that'll be when the full game is out you won't know this or well you will because I keep telling you but I'm literally recording this during the early access so I've managed to get two full episodes it's about to run out and uh, this is all I can manage but when the game is actually released it's going to be a lot easier to trade I won't have to use my hours up and all of that and um, yeah it's just going to be better and uh, the piece de resistance we've bought Jose Mourinho to complete the club and manager items for Manchester United and we've also got a full Manchester United starting 11 so it's a good way to end episode 2 off hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace